Hello everyone, this is Angela here and today I'm going to be talking about the Narcissistic Personality Disorder and today's topic is Genuine Love versus Narcissistic Personality Disorder. Um, many of us have been in relationships with a narcissist, either you're a child of a narcissist or you've been in a narcissistic romantic relationship or you've worked with a narcissist and um, these people uh, can be quite destructive but today I want to talk about genuine love versus narcissistic personality disorder and narcissism itself um, first of all I'd like to say that people who have narcissistic personality disorder, you know, a lot of times it's referred to as the excessive love of oneself. And that's pretty much a distortion of what it is. People who are genuine narcissists do not love themselves. And on the contrary, they pretty much hate themselves. And I'm sure many of you understand this about them but the best way that I can explain what genuine love is um, I, I like to show you I like to recommend a uh, musical which happens to be more like a movie but it's technically classified as a musical because the character in the move in this movie um, was an, an opera singer. He was a striving opera singer. And the story is about a man who fell in love with two women. The first woman he fell in love with was a narcissist who basically totally destroyed him to the point where he was an aspiring opera singer. And when the other shoe dropped, she absolutely destroyed him. And I want to show the, the cover to this movie. It's called Serenade by Maria Lanza. It looks backwards, but I want to zoom in over here if you could see this. And if you look at the left hand corner, you could see how the man is on the ground and a woman is catering to him. And you see the narcissist standing up and laughing pretty much at him. And it's an excellent movie that truly genuine understands that truly sorry truly demonstrates genuine love versus narcissistic personality disorder and you know um highly recommend it for people who are who have been in a romantic relationship with a narcissist and um it, it it's one of these feel good type movies you know at the end it, it had a wonderful ending um, I loved it. It's one of my favorite movies. Um, so I hope that you guys uh, take an opportunity to look for this movie and to watch this movie. I promise you, it, you won't be disappointed. So now I want to talk about genuine love and what genuine love is as opposed to uh, narcissism. And um, so I'm going to put my glasses on because I have this thing that's written down that pretty much defines it. The Bible also does a very good description of uh, love. But um, I have this and I want to share it with everybody. And um, so here it is. What is love? Okay. Love takes time. It needs a history of giving and receiving, laughing and crying. Love never promises instant gratification, only ultimate fulfillment. Love means believing in someone in something. It supposes a willingness to struggle, to work, to suffer and to rejoice. Satisfaction and ultimate fulfillment are byproducts of dedicated love. They belong only to those who can reach beyond themselves, to whom giving is more important than receiving. 
Love is doing everything you can to help others build whatever dreams they have. Love involves much careful and active listening. It is doing whatever needs to be done and saying whatever will promote the other's happiness, security, and well-being. Sometimes love hurts. Love is on a constant journey to what others need. It must be attentive, caring, and open, both to what others say and to what others cannot say. Sometimes love says no with empathy and great compassion. Love is firm, but when needed, it must be tender. When others have tried and failed, love is the hand in yours in your moments of discouragement and disappointment. Love is reliable and loyal. Love is a choice and commitment to others' true and lasting happiness. It is dedicated to growth and fulfillment. Love is not selfish. Love sometimes fails for lack of wisdom or abundance of weakness, but it forgives knowing that the intentions are good. Love does not attach conditions. Genuine love is a free gift. Always. Love realizes and accepts that there will be disagreements and disturbing emotions. There may be times when miles lie between, but genuine love is a commitment. It believes and endures all things. Love encourages freedom of self. Love shares positive and negative reactions to warm and cold feelings. Love, intimate love, will, sorry, will never reject others. It is first to encourage and last to condemn. Love is a commitment to growth, happiness, and fulfillment of one another. Sorry, it's really hard. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, so to genuinely love someone sometimes means to sacrifice one owns happiness so that a greater good can be the outcome. Love means to truly, truly care about the benefit of another human being to the point where Another person can strive to be all that they can be. And sometimes saying I love you simply means to walk away so that another person can express the love that they have for another individual. Because that's where that intimate love lies and these people cannot grasp that reality narcissistic personality disorder is the total opposite of genuine love and I've experienced that firsthand with my narcissistic mother because she has killed my dreams of ever becoming a church vocalist. I never saw my wedding day. I was never able to walk down the aisle because I made a bad mistake as a young girl, got pregnant at 17, and instead of my mother 
standing by me trying to help me. She called me a whore slut bitch. Threw me out. I was forced to marry a man who I barely knew, let alone loved. And she enjoyed that. Um, I'll never know what it's like to walk into a courtroom and try a big case. I'll never know what it's like to have my mother hold me in her arms and genuinely feel loved by her. Because I know deep down in my heart that, that if I did embrace her, it's not real because um, I'll be waiting for the other shoe to drop and her to stab me in the back so that she can laugh at my failures. And that's what these people do. They want to see you fail. They want to see you destroyed. They want to see, they want to suck the life right out of you. And that'll never change with a narcissist. But I managed to survive. And not only survive, but to go on and to have my friends who I generally care about because your real friends will always be there for you they will walk through the fires of hell and do whatever needs to be done to make sure that you're safe and that you're cared for even if that means offering a kind word of encouragement I do what I can to be a sense of support in this community and sometimes there have been difficult moments I have laughed I have cried I have yelled I have gotten angry I expressed all the emotions that I've been through with you all and I want to thank everybody who's been out here supporting me supporting my channel I have helped many people and many people have helped me and that is love because you did it with your hearts as a free gift of friendship and I just want to say thank thank you all and have a great day.